Galatians chapter 14. Galatians 5 and 14. Galatians chapter 5, verse 14. For all the law is fulfilled in one word. All the law is fulfilled in one word. What is that? Even this, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Read. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. So we can't be looking to the negative or the, the going into the flesh that you biting and devouring one another and not really looking at trying to uplift each other, you know what I mean? Esteem each other as you would want to be esteemed yourself, you know? But you biting and devouring one another, you're going to be consumed one of another. We're going to be consumed. That's why a kingdom divided against itself shall not stand. You know, that's why a lot of splits happen because it breakups ups in the, in the different aspects of divorces of camps, divorces of this way, that way, however you look at it, we always have splits. People only being there so long, then I'm out of here. But then they got to pay for that. Mm. Somebody going to pay for that. Because there's a lot of hurt people that when it's like the door shut, and people be coming, they be there, and every, they see, wow, everybody went here, and there, and everywhere, and then it got to be, what about the people that you hurt by causing this? You bite and devour one another, you be consumed one of another. That's why you look at things that those that have done that is not going to work because they're going to be consumed one of another. Look by little. Both sides' word is not, he's not, his word is not to a point where it's not going to come true. It's going to happen. First John 4 and 20. First John chapter 4 verse 20. If a man say, I love the most high and hate his brother, he is a liar. If a man say, I love the most high. And you hate your brother, he is what? A liar. There ain't no liar going to the kingdom, right? For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love the most high whom he hath not seen? Now, if you can see your brother, and you don't love your brother, you can see, how you gonna love the most high the most high who you have not seen? You have you cannot see. Read. Right? And this commandment have we from him. This is a commandment that we have from the Most High. What is that? That he who loveth the Most High love his brother also. If you love the Most High, love your brother also. You don't love your brother, you don't love the Most High. John 15 and 12. St. John 15 and 12. St. John, chapter 15, verse 12. This is my commandment, that ye love one another. See, this is a commandment, over and over again, that we love each other. This is my commandment, that ye love one another. Read. As I have loved you. Go ahead. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. See that? He says, this is a commandment that we love one another as he loved us. The greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Go ahead. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. So you ain't, you're not his friend if you're not doing whatever he commands you, and that's the laws. That's the laws. So you are my friend. You do whatsoever I command you. That's how you are friend. Go back to 1 John 5 and 20 again. 20.
14. First John 5 and 20. First John chapter 4 verse 20. If a man say, I love the most high and hate his brother, he is a liar. So you say you love the most high and you hate your brother, you're a liar. Read. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love the most high whom he hath not seen? Yeah. How can you say you love the most high? You ain't never seen the most high. <laughs> So you got faith in them. You ain't never seen them. But well, still, you say you love the most high. And you see your brother, but you hate your brother. Makes no sense. Go ahead. And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth the most high love his brother also. Right. You love the most high and love your brother also. You love yourself, you gotta love someone else. Jump up to verse 19. First John chapter five, 4, verse 19. We love him because he first loved us. So we love him because he first loved us. And he laid down his life for us as his friends. He said we need to lay down our life for our friends. I mean, sometimes it's a sacrifice for your friend. But you got to do it. That's what he did for us. He loved us. Most I said, Jacob have I loved. <clears throat> he said he loved nobody else. But he said he loved Jacob. Con? Right. Yeah. He never said he loved Esau, Ammon, Moab, Ishmael, they're the enemies of the Most High. Amalek, he never said that. Eli, Ham, he never said that. Show me that in scriptures. He said, I love Jacob. He said he laid down his life for the sheep. Amashiach, I was shot. Isaiah 53 and 10. Speaking of it, Isaiah 53 and 10. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 10 Yet it pleased the Most High to bruise him He hath put him to grief When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin He shall see his, he shall see his seed He shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the Most High shall prosper in his hand. But it pleased the Most High to bruise him. He put him to grief. When he laid his body in offering for sin. For us, the children of Israel. His precious blood was shed for us. There's no remission of sin without the shedding of blood. Shall see his seed, the children of Israel. He shall prolong his days. It's on the right hand side of the Most High. And the pleasure of the Most High shall prosper in his hand. The wisdom of Solomon 4 and 10. In the Apocrypha. Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 10. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 10. He pleased the Most High and was beloved of him. So that living among sinners, he was translated. He was translated. Get hold that. Get Matthew 11 and 19. Living among sinners, he was translated. That's why when people think they all that, they all high-minded and they too glorious to understand to have the same mind as the Messiah. Give a shot. Read that. Matthew chapter 11, verse 19. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine giver, a friend of publicans and sinners. See? Go ahead. But wisdom is justified 
of her children. So he was friends of publicans and sinners. Now go back to Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 10. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 4, verse 10. He pleased the Most High and was beloved of him so that the living among sinners he was translated. Read it again because you read it wrong. Read it again. He pleased the Most High and was beloved of him so that living among sinners he was translated. Right. See, living among sinners, he was friends of sinners. You see what I'm saying? He was translated. And that's the mind of a Mashiach Kavashah, you know, so he wasn't so overly righteous that he wasn't around the wicked of Israel. Trying to translate them and make them, transform them, I might say, to be the sons of the Most High. Read. Yeah, speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding. See, speedily he was taken away out of this earth at 33 years old. Lest the wickedness should alter his understanding. So you're looking at what we're dealing with ourselves. In the most wicked time of the world, where the most I have to have mercy and grace upon us and forgive us for our sins. You know, you hear what it says concerning Hamashiach Yavashah? Lest wickedness should alter his understanding. The word of the Most High had to get him up out of here. Lest wickedness would have altered his understanding. Read. Or deceit beguile his soul. Or lies beguile his soul. Read on. For the bewitching of naughtiness doeth obscure things that are whole honest. See, the bewitching of naughtiness, things that are wicked, things that are against the laws of the Most High, does obscure things that are honest. Read. And the wandering of concupiscence do it undermine the simple mind. Yeah, the wandering of concupiscence, you know, things that are just unordinary. And ordinary is what? Ordinary is what we're supposed to be doing in following the laws. But things that are contrary to the law does undermine the simple mind. That's why he said, get uh, Proverbs, hold that, get Proverbs 1 and 22. The simple mind. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. How long ye simple ones? So I say, how long ye simple ones? Read. Right? Will you love simplicity? We love simplicity. Love to be simple. Love to be ignorant. Love to be stupid. In darkness. In darkness, right. Go ahead. And the scorners delight and their scorning. Scorners delight and their scorning. Going against the word. Read. Right? And fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge, man. Come on. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. That's what he's doing right now. As we're going through these scriptures, man, he's making his words be known unto us. Now, what you going to do with them? That's something that you got to consider. Read. Because I have called, and you... And ye refused. Many are called, but few are chosen. He said he called, but so many refused because they want to do whatever they want to do. They don't want to follow the program of the Most High. He already set things up already. Go ahead. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded it. He stretched out his hand, and no man regarded it. To do the things that you're supposed to do and following the truth. They say they're the truth, but they got their own. Like I say, you do whatever you're going to do with the, and the truth on the right side, and then you put whatever you're going to do for yourself on the left side, and when the judgment comes, the book's open, you're going to say, oh, well, I see you. Stop right here. But everything you did for yourself, that go on way out here. <laughs> now, you expect to make it into the kingdom? It says, hey, it is what it is, man. He said, he called, you refused. He said, I stretched out my hand, and no man regarded it. Go ahead. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. All the counsel that you done had don't mean nothing. Because you ain't studying to show yourself approval to the Most High. And you ain't applying this in your life. 
Me? And with none of my reproof. You don't want none of his reproof. He just, you know, certain things happen, you be like, wow, man, why this happening to me? Dang, why this going down? Why that's happening? Why this happening? Why that's happening? Because the most I reproving you. He trying to get your attention. He trying to get your attention. But you ain't hearing me. I also will laugh at your calamity. Oh, now the calamity comes. He said he's laughing at you. You're going to start having all kind of madness happening in your life. He's going to laugh at you. Read. I will mock when your fear is coming. When you start to fear, you ain't fear before you start jacking your butt up. But he said he's going to start making fun of you when your fear do come. Read. When your fear comes as desolation. When your fear comes as desolation, you start taking things from you. Start taking, you know, desolation means you're taking things away from you. Go ahead. And your destruction coming as a whirlwind. Ooh, your destruction coming as a whirlwind. Think about all the people that, that have lost in hurricanes and tornadoes and so forth. Read. When distress and anguish come upon you. When distress and anguish come upon you. Go ahead. Then shall they call upon me. Then you're going to call upon the Most High, Ray. But I will not answer. He ain't going to answer. He ain't going to listen to you. Your prayers will be all in vain. Ray. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. You see, when you start crying to them, when you start mocking and laughing at you, so you're going to seek him early, but you ain't going to be able to find him. Mashiach got shot and be like, where you at, Most High? <laughs> I can't find him. What's the word? You waiting for a word to come back? Ain't nothing coming back and say you ain't gonna find him. Read. For that they hated knowledge. You hated the knowledge. You ain't fit him on side. You hated knowledge, read. And did not choose the fear of the most high. See, you ain't choose the fear of the most high. Read. They were none of my counsel. They ain't want none of the counsel. This is the counsel we're going over right now. And how to behave, how to conduct our vessel that the most I all might say, rental vessel that the most high allows us to have, you know, for this period of time. They want his counsel, read. They despise all my reproof. Despise all his reproof. So just know that the most I gonna be laughing at you. Most I got personality, don't he? <laughs> he said he's gonna be laughing, he's gonna mock at you whenever your fear comes, when your calamity comes, as desolation. He's gonna be laughing at you, and you ain't gonna be able to find him. Go back to uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the fourth chapter, verse 13. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 13. He's still talking about a Mashiach Kavashai, what it says. He being made perfect in a short time. See, he being made perfect in a short time. 33 years old. Me. Fulfilled a long time. Fulfilled a long time. Just like you're looking at it right now. 2,000 some odd years later, we still see it, right? He fulfilled what he had to fill in a short time that we could see in a short I mean, you know, the short time that he did, it's a long time to now. Here it is. We still see it from what he gave us to see in that short time of him living only 33 years. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, like he made For his soul pleased the Most High. Therefore, patient he to take him away from among the wicked. See? His soul pleased the Most High, and it pleased the Most High to bruise his soul. We just read that in Isaiah 53 and 10. For it so pleased the Most High, therefore, the wisdom of, go ahead, he said he to take him away from among the wicked. From among the wicked. Who was the wicked? Because who was around? Who was ruling? Esau, what you see? What Esau? What he about? The Romans, so-called Italian Caucasians, they're the ones, the Roman soldiers, the ones that put the stakes in his hand and his feet. Go ahead. This the people saw. This the people saw. They seen this, read. And understood it not. They didn't understand it. Go ahead. Neither laid they up this, neither laid they up in, neither laid they up this in their minds. They laid this up in their minds, what? 
that his grace and mercy is with his saints. And lay it up in their mind that his grace and mercy is with his saints. And we know the saints are who? The children of Israel. That's what I'm saying. Early. And, and you is also, go ahead. And that he had respect unto his chosen. And he had respect unto his chosen. Now you can read uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. But we have given grace and mercy to you. Read that. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. You put your trust in the Most High, you're going to understand the truth. The laws of the Most High. Amashiach, Yahweh Shai is the truth. Show us how to follow the laws. Okay? Gui Mashiach, and Mashiach is the Most High. Read. And such as be faithful in love. Faithful in what? Love. Faithful in love. Read. Shall abide with him. Shall abide with him. Read. For grace and mercy is to his saints. Now you know how to define the saints, who the saints are? No, in scripture. Yeah. Go to Psalms 50 and 5. Psalms 105, 8 to 10. This is the long version. Psalms 148, 14. Psalms 149, 1 and 2. This defines the saints. Psalm 50 and 5. Psalm chapter 50, verse 5. We define in the saints. The grace and mercy is to the saints. And we look at that word saints. When you look at the New Testament, you'll see to the saints. And Corinthians and Ephesians and Thessalonians and all the different books of the New Testament, you'll see to the saints. So we define who the saints are. So it's addressed to these people who it's going to define here. Psalms 50 and 5. Psalm chapter 50, verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. I gather my saints together unto the Most High, those that have made a covenant or contract or agreement with the Most High by sacrifice. Well, who this covenant was made by? Or made to? Just defining the saints. Psalms 105 and 8. Psalm chapter 105, verse.